here. Chuck and I are uh, making this video to show you. This is the Tracker 3. And uh, I'm trying to get this in the picture. It's putting out about 1.37 amps. And that's what the Tracker 3 looks like. It looks like almost a uh, one of you. And now let's go outside. And I'll show you. This is a typical hookup with um, the output to the battery. And then a current meter and a voltage meter on where the power is. So let's go outside and we'll look at. Uh, We'll look at the solar panel arrangement. They're very small solar panels, so it's it's for emergency use. Okay, so I'm back, and um, you can see that there's two gold zero panels there, and one Chinese replica of the gold zeros. And these panels, if the if the sky was not sprayed with overcast. Um, these two gold zero panels would be equivalent to 30 watts. And then one more Medina would be 45 watts total. So since we know that uh, cloud cover and, and spray in the atmosphere is going to cut down on the efficiencies of the panels, that's why we're only seeing the uh, current that's available there at the current meter but let's go and change that meter around and look and see what uh, what we get what the panels are trying to put in okay we can see here that the panels are trying to put in about 1.2 amps and uh, if we go to this one There we go, 1.37. Okay, so now if we go back over here, you can see that you have very little loss between the panel and the charger when you add the two together. And so that just shows you that the battery is receiving the charge. The red indicator indicates that the battery is under charge and when the battery reaches 15.1 this green light will come on and we'll wait for that. Hi everybody, John. I'm back here again and I'm going to show you where the meter is right now. It's at 14.74 and the current's at 2.24 amps and the little 3 amp charger. See now the green light's on indicating that it's going to float it up to 15 volts and it's only going to produce a micro boil in the battery. Battery is cold. And you can see that the light comes on about 14.8. Tells you that the battery is pretty well charged. No heat in the unit. Pretty much cold. And what I wanted to tell you, this took about four and a half hours, five hours to charge this battery to the green light. Uh, Chuck had taken 10 amps for one hour out of this car battery and we wanted to see how quick the solar tracker 5 would put the power back in the battery so it's been about that time as I mentioned and you can see this is going to float up to 15 volts and we'll go out and we'll look at the panels once again they're not very big so they're just a couple of gold zero panels. These are expensive panels. And of course this is the Chinese version of it. Which I really don't recommend to get the power out. The gold zeros plug in together at the back and then there's a little cable that that goes to the uh, to the uh, charger. So once again I'll go back over that and you can see that it's now got the green light and you can see it's at 1486 
and all it's doing right now with this current is topping the battery to 15 of which then the current will back down to float and I'll be back okay so I'm back here still green light and you can see now we're down to 1.5 amps and 14.94 and the clouds just came so it's going to back down but you see it's holding the battery in the green so it's just topping the battery we took 10.2 amps for 62 minutes out of that yeah. this morning yeah I told them that earlier but anyway you can see that the clouds are coming now and it's going to adjust accordingly it's not going to pull as much current because the battery is up at 14.94 basically 15 volts and uh, so it's a little demonstration on the little panels for this uh, Tracker 5 survival charger. Okay, John and Chuck back just to show you where it pushed the battery to. It's 1501 and see it's down to float current 1.13 amps. And it'll even come down lower than that as the battery tops off. And then you can see that it says it's ready to go. And we'll be back with a few more videos on these trackers. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just thought I would come back. I know I said goodbye. You can see here it's topped the battery completely and you're down to point. You're down to 91 milliamps float on a car battery on a cold cranking amp 65. And of course the green light's on. And that's float now at 90 milliamps means no boiling in the battery everything's nice and cold thanks for watching